I recently published a video about how to set up your thinkorswim charts for active trading, and it was perceived very well, but I realized in that video, I didn't talk at all about how to set up for options trading, and thinkorswim is awesome for options trading. So that's what we're doing today. So I've jumped into the paper side of Thinkorswim, reset everything to what it would look like when you first download the application. This is the screen you will be taken to. If we jump into the trade tab here, this is where we begin to see options change. Most of you all probably know this part. Type in SPY, let's wait for some of the uh, options chain data to load here. And this is where you can see obviously buy expiration dates, buy expiration strike prices, what the current bid asks last are, how you can change the layout if you would like to see Greeks, this, that, and the other. I have a video on explaining the options chain in grave detail already. I'll link that in the top right of this video now if you want to see more about the literal options chain explanation. You can watch that video. We're not going to dive into that today. Today is going to be focused on the actual execution of orders and how to set up the chart the best way to execute orders in one mouse click trading options. So first thing we're going to do, let's come back to our charts tab here. We're on our flexible grid by default, which is great. I'm going to change this link to any of them. I'll just make it three blue for S's and G's for now. I'm going to come back to my trade tab and say, I want to buy a 554 July 23rd uh, spy put. Say I want to trade this. If I right click Anywhere within this options chain, sorry, it's behind my head. Let's, let's, I'm going to, I'm going to buy a call just because my big albino head is in the way. I'm going to buy a 554 uh, July 23rd call, right click once again, anywhere in the options chain. If I go over this send spy 240723 call of 554 strike to blue. Now, if I go back to that chart, guess what? You are now seeing, if I get rid of this ugly uh, customized grid out of the way, you are now seeing the chart of the option price, just like you would a stock. We're on the daily chart right now, but if I jump into the five minute, you are now seeing the price of the option charted on a candlestick pattern, just like you would if you were to load the SPY chart here, right? So this is how uh, immediately you can see the benefits of using Thinkorswim to trade options. Charting option prices like this are really, really useful. I have over 45 custom ThinkScript codes available on my website, daytradingstrategies.net. Click the link in the top of the description. Go sign up today. So you've got the options chain candlestick pattern on a chart. Now let's go ahead and set up these charts get them ready for options trading. I'm going to add a separate chart here, just simply clicking this side plus button. And actually what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna link this to blue. I just, this is all gonna be a little bit subjective, but I want my five minute options chain chart to be here. And I will make this a little bit bigger because what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a red link to spy daily here. It just happened to already be spy when I switched it to red. And then I'm also going to link this chart to red and make it the five minute chart. And then I'm going to get rid of one of these down here. So I just want two charts up top two charts down bottom. These two left charts are going to be the actual ticker itself. Looking at the daily, just so we always have an eye on what the overall daily trend is. And of course, looking down into the actual five minute movement of the ticker, comparing that alongside to the movement of the option we would like to chain. So now if I go ahead and uh, just fill in this uh, kind of chart down here, we'll fill it in also with SPY. What I'm going to do, I'm going to link this to blue as well. So now we're looking at the same SPY 123 July 24 554 call, but I'm going to, that was a mouthful, but I'm going to get rid of the chart. And what we're going to turn on here is this AT, otherwise known as as active trader. And this is where all the power of trading options within Thinkorswim is going to come from. So let's go ahead and get all these just sidebars unchecked just so it's a little bit cleaner. 
get the customized grid turned off to get that out of my way. And let's take a look at what is happening here. So you can see the price of this option. It's currently $3.53. You see that highlighted on the active trade window here, and you can see where the bids and the asks are aligning. Right now, the bids and asks are down at 347, but this option actually isn't trading a lot of volume. You know what? I'm gonna do something real quick. Let's jump down to the option expiring today. If I look at the volume, should be a lot more volume on the zero DTE options because you all are degenerate gamblers, most of you option traders. Um, <laughs> I shouldn't say I shouldn't say most, but those of you that are know who I'm talking about. Um, I'm gonna send this one to blue. So now we should see some more uh, direct quick price movement because of course, the chart doesn't update until there's volume. So now you're seeing a more direct on the ec today expiration 554 call. You should see this price moving more and you should see the price moving more on the active trade window. So um, now if I expand this, if I want to buy one contract of this option, I can now trade it the exact same way that I trade a stock. I can do the same thing if I want to go in here and I want to set up my active trade window. By the way, I just clicked on this little cog if you missed that. If I wanted to set up, you know, limit orders and limit sales instead of market orders and market sales, that can all easily be done. Once again, just like you do with stock trading, just like I explained in the stock trading setup video. But now, and I, I'm actually not 100% sure what's going to happen here because I've never tried to trade options in a paper account. But if I hit buy, oh, you know what? One more thing. Let's turn our auto send on. If I hit buy, it should now place this order. And of course, if I was trading real money, I would be filled. Oh, it, look, it did fill me. See, one click and it would have been faster than that in real money, I would assume. I am now in this option at 109 because that is where my market order filled for where the option was trading at the time. But do you see now within Thinkorswim, you can use the power of the active trade window, such a powerful tool, especially for a free trading software. Now you can apply this. Not only can you apply this to options trading, but you can see the actual price of the options chain you would like to trade plotted out on a candlestick pattern, just like you would a stock chart. Thinkorswim is honestly my, well, I'm about to say something here. Thinkorswim is my favorite platform for trading options, but really the only other one I've ever tested is Robinhood. So it, take that with a grain of salt, but I think for what it is for a free platform trading options, um, not that the commissions are free, but that there's just no fees to Thinkorswim. I think this platform is so, so powerful, so strong. You can apply this active trader one-click ordering to the options chart like this. Trading stocks. He talks about trading stocks. It's important for you Americans and other international individuals to learn about stocks. 